for your commendable and dedicated service to the Fairfax County, Prince William County, and the Alexandria County, Virginia, for handling each emergency with uncompromised confidence and integrity, for using courage and compassion, and for providing such a meaningful service to us all. No duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. That is why Divine World Ministry and the Faith Community is organizing our annual Faithful Servant Award on the 26th of October, 2019. The venue is Hilton Hotel on 5000 Seminary Road, Alexandria, Virginia, and the time is at 7 p.m. We thank you for your devotion, dedication, and hard work. You are an important part of our community. You and your colleagues are truly among America's finest, and we are proud of you. We salute you. Mega International All Nighter, Arabasu with Divine World Church International Ministries. Eh, hey, only one baby, I want you to go home. Ah, I want 3115 Golaski Boulevard, Woodbridge, Virginia. Ah, I want USA, man. Only a, se ubo du poma, e dije wada bu nini asumu. Bra, na yen dimpai. Only a, kai, deti ni ye Friday, 26th July, 2019. Yara, na ne siye du me so meri baby yo. No, so fi oba baby, jume yu ti ame di ye. Of Payin and Casa Supremo Supremo Bishop Dr. Kofi Adon Tim Watting Oti Prekis and you say any Mirror Saint Petupo and Nesuko or Mother Dua Mafuno Tessu and Yenibe Bishop Yadawasi, where you and a friend of Kuwa brought the Asia Mugina Wayanasa. That a Brua or Binteroba and a Makwadi Bresia Mawutia on Sama Buja Boom, San Mabis or Sena or Sena and Takra Hunu. Daddy, that pastor is very, very powerful. You are a member. Bishop Dr. Kofi Adonchin Boyatin, you also have to be a way in the me and uncle put it to go from a brand from a duca. I don't know, and you know, my brother, you know, I'm a man. Yay! Samantha, I follow you. Fire, fire, fire. Divine Word Ministry presents another mega all night in their new purchased building themed. Come and see Ojapa Fire with the anointed Bishop Adontin Boating. This is a prophetic and deliverance service you can't afford to miss. The date is July the 26th at 9.30 p.m. prompt. The address is 3115 Golanski Boulevard in Woodbridge, Virginia. Ibafe Bay Fire. Chamo, money, oh, 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 money, oh,
it's so chilly, you got me close. So closer than the brother, so closer than the brother. Truth is, I gave up on myself. Cause my back was against the wall. And it has so you know, so yeah. Hey. But I gave you a call. And you answered my prayer. At once, you made a way. It is a beautiful Tuesday night and we thank God for the grace to be alive. We appreciate our God for the grace he has given us to be here. If you are here tonight, you are in a wonderful home. You are in a wonderful family. Welcome to the miracle service. Hey, you are welcome. You are very special. You are very important. Oh my God. Elijah Bonnie Nimko is in the house in a beautiful blue shirt today. Elijah Bonnie, God bless you and thank you for everything you do. Ali Madonna, I say, Bishop, Allah be with you, okay? Ali Madonna, anytime I see you come on Facebook and you come and appreciate me and support me, Ali, uh, God bless you. God bless you. Allah bless you too. God bless you. I really love your spirit and thank God for who you are. Thank God. God bless you. Grace Sapon, my daughter. Grace, God bless you. Uh, Ali Madonna said, I, I, I always tell you, I love you in the name of Allah. God bless you. I feel very glad that you love me so much in the name of Allah. I, I, God bless you, Ali Madonna. God bless you. I'm in high spirit. You know one thing, we're all one people. We're all one people, one blood, one grace, one blessing. And we are very, very, very special. God bless you, everybody, for joining us. Hey, this is Bishop I don't think what I God bless you. Malizi, God bless you. First lady, Rama, I don't think what I God bless you. Skala, the only man I can't call her. But God bless you and God bless you too. God bless you. I Princess Asha. Mami, if you are bent on. Benny Sakiana Lee. Any anima. Today, this house will be very good. Princess Sasha, thank you for that compliment. Araba Emisa. Ah. United Kingdom, God bless you. Ali Madonna, one and only. Hey, can I say salam alaikum? Is that the right word? My brother, I salute you, bro. Efia Tutua. Bridget Brown Mafia, no? Mavis Na Ajoko. From Queno. Beatrice Watson. Jivinsky Jonia. Hey, how is my goddaughter? How is she doing? I have been praying for her every day that the Lord will bless her, that she will grow in grace and in prosperity and in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God bless my granddaughter in your house. God bless you, kid. Hey, Vanessa Jan, welcome to God bless you. Please, if you have joined us, share the video and invite your family to join us. God bless you. Hey, Nikwe, Ivan Alote said, ha, 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 Nikwe is in the house. 
Yo, 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 take it easy for my bro. Erica Sarinyako, God bless you. Please, kindly share the video. Daddy, you look great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right? Angie Kwei. Angie Kwei, God bless you. And thank you for being here tonight. Now say, Nyanku Poncha, God bless you. Malizi, thank you for all you do. Maria Norte, I like your profile picture. You are looking exquisite, special, and very beautiful. With that uh, ex ex exuberant smile on your face, Maria Norte. Onyame won shower ata. Joe Bruce. Nana ma yebu wa. Oh, Divinsky. Jonia MC said, I want to bring my daughter to your church one day. Oh my God. That day, I will celebrate your daughter like it's Christmas. You know what? You know how people feel special in Christmas? That's exactly what I would do. Hey, Dolly Mishkwa. Dolly, God bless you. Happy to see you. Please, if you have joined us, I want to welcome all of you. Share the video today. You'll be very blessed for joining. Just like you were so blessed yesterday. Today, the blessed will be more. Tina Tego, welcome. Kwame Atajima, I salute you. God bless all of you, please. Ivan Alote, God bless you for liking the video and for sharing. Please, everybody, kindly please share the video. And, and, and you'll be very blessed. Jay Nanani, hey! Christian Commodore. Kwame Atajima, God bless you. Obape Rama. Hey, first lady Rama, don't think what thing. God bless you too. Efia Hammond. Dino Foriata. I am just waiting for you to share the video that I might profess and be a blessing to somebody. Please. This is your bishop, your father, your brother. It doesn't matter which part of the world you are. Once the Lord has given us the grace to be here, remember one thing. Once the Lord is grace and bless us to be here, remember one thing. We have gathered not in the name of no man or woman. We have gathered because I am mentioning the name of Jesus. That is the umbrella of which we have gathered. Everybody is also somebody. So here, I won't judge you, don't judge me. I won't condemn, don't condemn anybody. And I won't condemn you. Muslims are welcome. Unbelievers are welcome. You know why? Because the message we're speaking is a message that is good for everybody. If you, if you accept Jesus through my message, praise the Lord. But while you're here, feel very special and feel very good. You are, you are welcome to a family where you are highly appreciated. Atasari, thank you. Tina Tego, he said, you look good. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Benny Sayen Supides. Soul Sister Irene. Soul Sister. God bless her. Juliana Fowa. Juliana. God bless you too. Please share the video. Okay, now I'm going to start preaching very now. I have the deep prophecy in, inside me. I want to share with somebody. This message I want to share with you is about your life. It's about my life. It's about everybody. Share the video. I want to speak straight. Two minutes more, I start preaching. But you know what? Before I do, kindly please share this message. Tell somebody you love them. Do not wait for people to die before you go and stand on their grave, on the dead body to tell them you love them. Hey, Nikwe, I love you, all right? I have, he's living. He can hear me. Telling him I love him, I don't lose nothing. I don't understand why we're living in a world full of fight. Grudge. Eugenia, sorry, God bless you. Welcome. I don't know why today everybody, people are just fighting. The world is full of confusion. AC Asante, welcome. This world is full of confusion. Christians are fighting against Christians. Muslims are fighting against Muslims. And the unbelievers are laughing at all of us. Oh my goodness. You know one thing? While you live, 
Why your brother lives, why your mother lives, why I live, please, if you can. Whisper, I love you. Uh, Dewinsky, Joania, please. Yes, I'm in Virginia. I'm in Woodbridge. Woodbridge, Virginia. This is Virginia and Woodbridge. Anytime you want to come with your baby, I'll be so glad. I will give you a special treat, a VIP treatment. We'll bring you a special car to pick you up. Your daughter, that is a prophetic baby from the ministry. Your baby will sleep in a hotel full of air-conditioned, perfumed room. Just for the child to feel very good. That once the Lord is blessed us, we don't hold a blessing to our chest. We share. We only have one chance to live. Everybody has only one chance to live. Kate Mensa, welcome. Nana Kwa, welcome too. We all have only one chance to live. Nana Mama is a great and lovely, handsome man of God. Papa, stay blessed. Thank you. God bless you. Everybody has only one chance to live. Only one opportunity to live. And as, as, as you leave, there is one thing I ask you to do. Please, love your neighbor as yourself. We're fighting too much. There is too much fight everywhere. Everybody wants to say they are better than somebody. Who is better than somebody? Nobody is better than anybody as we live. You know what? If you love me, tell me you love me now. Salina Mensa, thank you. If you love me now, tell me you love me now. If I love Nikwe, my daughter Grace, if I love her now, that's the opportunity to tell her I love you. It, it is sad, especially African people, they wait until the person dies, and that is why they go and shed crocodile tears. You know one thing? Let us stop behaving like that. Let us all stop behaving very wicked and evil as we're behaving. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you love me, Winifred Tinkran, God bless you. Belinda Brown, Reverend, God bless you. Nana Ochi Insifu Mate, God bless you. E, Apostle Amubafu, Germany, God bless you and bless your ministry. God bless you and lift you and make you great. Make you blessed. Make you special. Apostle Amubafu, may favor locate your ministry and may you expand beyond the limits of your church. In Jesus' name. Akon Shirasa. God bless you. Nanabo. God bless you. As we live life, whether you are a Christian or unchristian or whoever you are, humans, we have only one chance to live life. All of us, Chari Adai, God bless you. We have only one chance to live life. Why don't we just love each other? The world doesn't belong to nobody. This world does not belong to anybody. We just got to love each other. If I tell you I love you, it's genuine from my heart. Because I don't know when I'll see you again. So today while you are here with me, can I shout? Can I scream? Can I say with all my heart how much I love you? Because I deeply love you. Reggie, Hovdi, welcome. God bless you. Mamiyama, God bless you. I don't know why we're living in a world today where there's no love. I don't know why we're living today in a world where there's no love. There is, there is ab absolutely no love anywhere for nobody. We're living in a world where there's no love any anywhere. Is that good? Is that okay? Yo, can you love me? Let me love you too. This world will be a very peaceful place if we stop hating each other. This world will be a very peaceful place if we stop feeling better than each other. If we stop feeling beautiful than others. If we stop feeling sensible than others. That is all you and I must do. That is all all of us must do. Can you love me? Let me also just love you back. After all, what do, we, what do you lose for loving me? And what do I lose for loving you? Some, some people are so mean. Some people are so self-conceited. Some people are just full of hate. Hey, they don't know you. They can just see your picture on Facebook and they will write and insult you because they are full of hate. Is it necessary? Is it necessary? My dear, any man or woman that is always filled with laughter and smile, you live long. 
Can we stop just hating people? Especially black people. Black people are fighting. Every black man is fighting. They don't understand why we're not making it. You know why? Because there is no love among us. Africans just hate. Black people just hate black people. And when they hate you and they, are, they have witchcraft, say, you are in trouble. Yo, yo. Just tell your sister you love her. Hey, if nobody told you today they love you, I, I declare that I don't think what thing. This bishop, I love you rough. I love you. I love you crazy. You know why I love you like that? You are very special. When people feel you are special for them, they love you crazy. Today people pretend, pretend they love, but they have no genuine love. If anybody has genuine love, they don't care to die for you because they want to sacrifice for you. You are living with your husband. You don't love him, but you are living with him. You are a fraud. You are living with your wife. You don't love. You are a fraud. Your own sister you don't love. Your own family you don't love. If you don't love your sister and you are not able to love your husband or your family, who else can you love? Tell me. What type of world are we living in now? And everybody, everybody that is full of hate, they are also in church. The church is full of crooks. Nanai Japan, thank you. God bless you. We just got to love each other. Let, let's stop pretending and let's love each other. You know what? It doesn't matter how much you can preach. Monica, Japan, God bless you. It doesn't matter how you can preach. Hey, can, let me tell you something secret about me. Sitting here before you, I'm not bragging. I am a very, very, very powerful man of God. I'm not kidding. Very powerful, I know. I'm full of the anointing. If you know me, I'm full of the anointing. But you know one thing? I'm humble. I'm humble. My blessing, my gift, the grace upon me, it doesn't mean I should put anything upon my shoulder. I'm just regular. If you come and see me sitting down with my daughter and we're laughing, you wonder, is this bishop? Yeah, it's me, but you know what? The anointing doesn't make me different from you. My blessing, my worth, my grace, it doesn't make me different from you. So, why are we judging? Why are we judging? Why are we condemning people? Why are we not just loving people? Why are we just not loving ourselves? You know, one thing I just beg you to do. Just love your neighbors yourself. Abby, Abby girl. Long time. God bless you. We just got to love each other. We just got to celebrate. You know what? When you love anybody, you got to celebrate them. Get up in the morning and feel happy. Good. That this woman is in my life. This man loves you. How special do you feel when you wake up and feel that somebody loves you? It makes the essence of humanity very special for you. Hatred is not good. Hatred is not good. We should stop hating each other. Everybody is in church, but we are full of hate. Anger. Black people are very angry people. Because we are full of hate. Hate based on jealousy. Hate based on enviness. Hate based on greed. She is living with her husband. She, is no, she has no love. That is fraud. Your own sister, you can't love her. You cannot forgive people and just love them. It's not good. It's not good at all. Yo, yo. You know one thing? We all got only one chance to live. Every little opportunity you get in your life when you wake up in the morning, please, just love your neighbor as yourself. Welcome to, to, welcome to today's edition of the Miracle Service. I am here. My name is John. That is my English name. I don't think what thing. Welcome. God bless you for sharing the video. Nana, Nana, I'm born, son. God bless you. Edna. I love you, cha. I see any catch a yasida. I refrain when he pang. And so damn it, my yan is Mi rem fi papa wa ya mi ya Esi ane kajan ya sido 
a refrain when you pump. A dear bark on a misread, he said, Me rent the papa, why am I a wow? That's a me pump, 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 cause I'm a cheap. Baby, I'm a friend, you baby, I'm a dream. But therefore, why now better me away? Hey, that's a me so super so sissy. Stand back and take account. Or therefore, wait, dear, it had to be you. That's why. I said, me boom, 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 Baby, I'm a friend, baby, I'm a dream. But therefore, why now better me away? Hey, hey Cherry, a day, God bless you. So, 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 Stand by. Edna, wherever you are, I miss you. God bless you. Love you, aye? Hey, 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 Honorable or say, see, base in the house. Mommy, say, I want to touch your mom. Money, oh, hey, money, oh, Esther Chachu. Thank God, thank God that you're here to share the video. Please, can you share the video? And invite your friends and your family to join us. Daniel Edu, welcome to God bless you. Madam Giftier, do welcome to God bless you for joining the miracle service. This is Bishop Adon Tembuate. If you have joined us, welcome to this edition of the Miracle Service. God Diva, Brio, Psalmist, welcome at Asari. God bless you. This is Bishop Adon Tembuatin, Cindy Yawa. God bless you. Please, if you have joined us, I want to indulge you while you're here. Can you please share this video and invite your friends and you, everybody you know to also join us? Or share the video and get your friends and your neighbors to join us. Esther Pia. My cousin, my sister, God bless you. Joanita, God bless you. Uncle loves you. Nana Boateng, I love you deep. Scott, Abrantia Watchery, Abrantia Watchery, my son, God bless you too. You are very, very special. Benedict Aoko, God bless you. There's a scripture that is in Luke 17, verse 31. Please, if you have not shared the video, you are not doing as good at all. Please kindly share the video. Kindly share the video and invite your friends to join us. My son, uh, my son, Abranti Ochre, your daddy, my birthday is coming. Hey, this coming Sunday's week, Samuel Ekomensa. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, this coming Sunday's week will be my birthday. 
And I just want to celebrate this with all my loved ones and everybody that is in the whole world. That I have seen a lot. I have seen a lot. I've been through a lot. If I'm alive to be before you, smiling, inspiring you and lifting you up, it's not because I'm any special human being, but it's because God's grace is real and God's grace is true. I want to be an example for you. I want to be a testimony for you that if you trust and you believe in Christ Jesus, surely what he has said concerning will come to pass. Bishop Meredith Amwa, a man of God, I salute you. And may the Lord bless you and bless you big. Uh, Abraham Teotry, tomorrow is your birthday. So happy birthday in advance. I pray that all your wishes will come to pass. Amen. Your prayers in life will be fulfilled. The Lord will bless you in prosperity. Amen. And what the Lord has said concerning you shall come to pass. Amen. Abraham Teotry, may, may you lack nothing. May doors, new doors open for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thomas Digital Ajimai. Thomas, God bless you too. Thomas, can I prophesy to you? You are about to meet a white woman. Thomas Digital Ajimai. I don't know where you are now. Now I don't know where. But I see that you are about to meet a white woman. A very, very, very good white woman. Through her, God will connect you to great places. So I want you to start praying about this. Start praying about this. Because God is about to connect you to a white lady somewhere. And through this white lady, you will be connected all over in the world. So, Thomas Digital Wajimai, if you have not if you have not been connected to this white woman yet, stay ready and be ready. Because God is bringing you to a place. You are about to meet somebody that will change your life for good. Barbara Ahija, my daughter, God bless you. Nancy Denton, Efia Ochida, come. If you are true, God bless you. Grace, Max. God bless you, Grace. I was waiting for you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, if you are true, Daddy, I'm back. You're looking good. Thank you. Thank you, if you are. Thank you. It's by the grace of God. As I said, when I look at my age, I am 66 years old, man. But look at what the grace of God has made me look like. You know, so when you, when you believe in Christ, and you trust in him as old as you age. His grace continues to form you and make you a blessed person. God bless everybody for joining us. I want to speak to you a little. So please, but before I do, can you please share the video? And please, can, you, can I indulge you to, for you to invite your friends to also join us? But if you are with us, please, kindly also, if you belong to any platform, share this video and place it on the platform and cause everybody else to be blessed too. Welcome. This is Bishop Kofi. I don't think. But thing. God bless you. Let's go. Go! Yo, I'm not 66 years old. <laughs> I was just kidding. Yo, if I'm 66 years old, ain't gonna, ain't gonna look like this. Yo. Wow, yeah, I mean, this is this. is ah. Uh... Max, thank you. Vera Osai Edu. Hear me? Yo, Grace, take the Bible. Luke 17, verse 31. Luke 17, verse 31. Read on, my daughter. On that day, those on the roof, whose possessions are in the house, shouldn't come down to grab them. Likewise, those in the field shouldn't turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever tries to preserve their life will lose it. Okay. That's the word I want you to say is remember, remember Lord's wife. Remember Lord's wife. Today I'm not preaching. I want to talk to somebody. I want to talk in a way that you will understand me. Mm -hmm. Remember Lord's wife. Who is Lord's wife? Grace, take the Bible to Genesis 19 verse 15. Erase Ellis. Long time. Happy to know you. Shalom Dakwa. God bless you. Genesis 19 verse 15. I am not preaching. I'm sharing a very quick personal message with somebody. And I know the Lord will bless you. Remember Lord's wife. Okay. Grace. Genesis, uh -huh. Genesis 19 verse 15. When dawn broke, 
The messengers urged Lot, Get up and take your wife and your daughters who are here so that you are not swept away because of the evil in this city. He hesitated, but because the Lord intended to save him, the men grabbed him, his wife and two daughters by the hand, took him out and left him outside the city. After th getting them out, the men said, Save your lives, don't look back, and don't stay in the valley. Escape to the mountains so that you are not swept away. Marisa Stragans, thank you. Okay, can I share something very personal? This is very going to be very personal with you and myself. Bishop Meredith Amwa, God bless you for what you're doing, for hosting a watch party for the program. Bishop, I really salute you. God bless you. Amen. Remember Lord's wife. This is a man and his wife. I'm not preaching, so I'm not going to shout. I'm going to be very, very straightforward. But I'll be teaching too. Because I want to talk to you. In life, everybody has a past. Some of us, our past is good. Others, our past are very, very bad. Some of us, our past, we wish that we will remember always. Some of us, our past, we wish that we can never, ever remember our past. That is why if my daughter Grace has an old boyfriend she's walk away from, that boyfriend is called her ex because ex means that that person is no more. Ex means that that person is gone. Ex means that it was yesterday. Ex means that it's no longer there. Lot and his wife were living, living in a city called Sodom. They were living as rich people. Gold, diamond, every blessing and every good things were in the city for Lot and his wife and his daughters. Very blessed. But at some point, please, if you're watching, can I please indulge you? Share the video. Share the video and God bless you. Marissa Struggles, thank you. Agatha Brash, welcome too. Lot and his wife were li living in a city called Sodom. God said this city is so destroyed, so filled of sin, I want to destroy the entire city. God said, I'm going to destroy everything in this city. But hey, you, I love you so much. I want you and your wife to escape. Run out. Go. But the instruction is when you go, don't turn back. Just proceed forward. Adona Abigail, God bless you. Just try to move forward. Just leave your past and go. Just leave your past and go on. Move on with your life. Vasio Wusu, my daughter, God bless you. But how sad, how bad is it for Lord's wife that when they were going, they were moving forward. But because Lord's wife will never ever forget the treasures of her past. Luke 17 verse 31 and 32 said, Remember Lord's wife. Why? Because instead of Lord's wife to leave yesterday and proceed forward, she continued to look back. Yo, everybody in life has a past. Some of our past are very bad and some of our past are very, very good. George Koku, welcome. Kendara Ralph, God bless you. Cecilia and Pia you. Welcome. God bless you. Some of us, we have a very bad past. Some of us, we have a very, very good past. But you know what? Whatever is gone and you, don't lo you no longer have it, it is always good in life to proceed forward, to push your life forward, to aspire to be better, and to live away from your past. Okay, let me use my daughter Grace as an example. She's a young girl that is growing up. Yeah, I know my daughter is not a virgin. Mm. <laughs> I know my daughter is not a virgin. Prisla Iabo Pelu, welcome. Okay, she has an ex-boyfriend. And by the grace of God, somebody is in her life now who is very good. Grace will be a fool to ever live her life. Grace will be a fool to ever live her life, to always remember the ex-boyfriend who is gone. You know why he's an ex? The ex means that the person is no longer in your life. 
the person is longer around. It is better to make your today better and to leave yesterday away from you. If her current boyfriend is not as good as the ex, it is up to Grace to fight, to work very hard, and to make this current one a better one to fit in her life than to continue to worry about the past. She cannot continue to cry about what the ex-boyfriend did against her. You cannot continue to live your life in the past. You know how somebody says, when we're growing up, I used to go to Achimota Secondary School and my parents used to have Mercedes Benz. Hey, today you are homeless. You better accept yourself as a homeless person. Yo, yo, leave that past alone. Your parents were rich and so it's gone. Forget about it. A lot of foolish people are still living in their past and so their futures are never working for them. A lot of foolish people are living in their past and because they are living in their past, they are not working on their future. But my sister, whatever your father did against you 10 years ago, whatever your brothers did against you 5 years ago, whatever your ex-husband did or your ex-wife did, or your ex-boyfriend did for you that is ex, he's living with another woman, he's gone, she's living with another man, you are still worried about him and you are talking about him, Remember Lord's wife. The reason why Lord's wife turned into a salt was because she refused to let her past go. Stop living in the past. Stop talking about things somebody did against you five years ago and I'm so hurting and I'm so never free. Whatever he did against me, this my ex-husband. Yo, your ex-husband left you. He's married five times more after you and you are still talking about him. Move on, move on, move on. God got you covered. Amen. Stop talking about your ex. Stop talking about your past. We have had enough of it. Move on, move on. Yesterday is gone. Another day is come. Do something new in my life. Yesterday is gone. Another day is come. Yeah, do something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, yo, if you live life and you will continue to worry about your ex girl, you remember how your Nico, you remember how your ex girlfriend used to crawl cr you, she'll mm -hmm. cuddle you, she'll make you feel so special. Mm -hmm. But your ex girlfriend cheated, you let her go, and you went and carry a woman, she's as stiff as a pamplo. <laughs> stiff, she doesn't cuddle, she doesn't know how to love. She doesn't know how to turn. She's always stiff. The least thing she's fighting. Yo, if this is what you got now, do something better with it than leave your ex-girlfriend matter alone. So long as you foolishly continue to think about ex-girlfriend who is gone, your today will never be enjoyable for you. But remember, you have only one chance to live life. You have only one chance. And so you should live life and be content. Live life and be content. Marries as figures. Let's live life and be content. It never gets better. Sometimes it gets better. Sometimes it never gets better. But you know one thing. When you know yourself and you accept your current situation, as it helps you so that you don't worry about your past. Since I was born, I have never known happiness. And I've always suffered. So since you are coming to my life, are you going to hurt me? To the moment you say that the guy ran away, Bishop. Every man who come to my life, they run away. Don't you think they run away? They are afraid. You're always talking about the past. 
You are always, if you are a person who is always dwelling on the past, you are not allowing the future to be better for you. Let your past go. Let your past go. Let your past go. I said, please, kindly allow yourself to allow the past to go. You don't know what tomorrow brings. Why are you still thinking about yesterday? Somebody did wrong against you. You can never forgive the person. But he's gone. Remember, as much as I did something wrong against you, you've also done something wrong against somebody. Please, let's square that up and let it go. Let it go. And enjoy. You have today. Why are you not enjoying today? You are still worried about what is past. You can't cry over a spilled milk. What you have today, enjoy it. Hey, the friends you know they love you. The woman you have, she loves you. The man you have, you love you. Dwell on those that love you and leave those negative out of your life. Don't worry. Don't stress over things you can't do nothing about. Lord's wife, even though they're living Sodom, she was still looking back. Looking back, if you are running a race and you want to win, you must concentrate and drive forward. Speed on, speed on, yo, drive on, press on. Lord's wife turned into a salt, a pillar of salt. Why? Because she kept looking back. She kept looking back. Mama, I want to see you succeed. I want to see you make it. Grace, the man you have now, he might not be a hundred percent, maybe like your past. But as a daughter, I will encourage you. Watch the other day that he is gone. Smiley, out of patience. Weave him. Win him. Treat him, tread him. And fix him and make him what you want. So you can enjoy it because that is yours. You know how a woman can say, the man, the man is mine. When a woman said that is my husband. A woman that can confidently say that is my husband is because she has worked on that man. She has improved the man. She has made the man better. It's not because the man put a ring on your hand. He said, that's my husband. That's your husband. Do, do you know how he became a man? Yo, a woman that can say that is my man is a woman who has worked, who has suffered, who has brought good things out of a man. She put her and said, that's my husband. That's what I'm talking about. Make yourself better. Press on. Live yesterday. Some of you are still thinking about your days at the primary school. You are a fool. Some of you are living. Uh, you remember how they said, Nikwe, you remember when you used to come and eat jollof in my father's house while we were growing? But today, Nikwe is staying in the Benz. You are taking bicycle and you are talking about when Nikwe was so poor, he came to your house to eat jollof. And so, it's past. It's past. It's past. Stop living in the past. Remember Lord's wife. The only reason why Lord's wife did not get to his destination because she kept looking back. Stop talking about your ex-boyfriend. He's gone. Stop talking about your ex-wife. She's gone. Stop talking about your ex-girlfriend. She's gone. Stop worrying about what your mother did. Your mother is dead 20 years ago and you are still blaming your mother for whatever it is. Please, press on. Press on. Today you also a mother. Make your children feel for a better future and leave the past alone. Anybody who dwells always on the past, they are very bitter people. Angry people. Lady Owusu, God bless you. Your past is over. God bless you. Your past is over. If that woman loves you, she would have been in your life. If she doesn't love you, let her go. Free me so call. If that man loves you, she will fight to be there. If she doesn't love you and she says she will go, don't look back. Press on. And whatever your husband did five years ago, three years ago, you cannot let your marriage break up because your husband cheated. Help him. I told a woman, a woman today, the reason why your husband cheated was because you were not taking proper care of him. 
I am not celebrating your husband for cheating on you, but because you did not treat your husband right, he had to go out walking around looking for somebody else, a side chick. Don't blame nobody. Blame yourself. If you want the marriage, make it work. Be there for your husband. Support your husband. Do whatever your husband needs for him. That is how you treat them. If you want your wife to be happy, do what is necessary for your wife and keep her in the house. Stop worrying about the past. And stop listening to your past. I told somebody yesterday, please, uh, if you're talking to me, don't talk about my past. It's gone. I said, I told somebody today, today, if you are talking to me, please stop referring to my past. I know my past. I know my past. My past is gone. Interestingly enough, everybody has a past. Molina Sam, God bless you. Paulina Sam, God bless you. Press on. Press on to be a better person. Press on to be a great person. Leave your past alone. Leave your the devil will always refer to your past. You remember the day you started fasting, and you are very, very serious in your fasting. Richard Obobi, God bless you. The day you are fasting, and you are serious of fasting. Nico, remember last year when you were running around with that young girl? I warned you stop. You need to. The day you started fasting and you are seriously fasting, you will hear the devil saying to you, Why are you wasting your time? You remember you were dealing those things with that young girl, and now you are saying Makade Rababa, stop it. You see, all your spirit will come down. You know what? Because the devil is trying to refer to your past to bring you down. Everybody has a past, including the devil. Everybody has a past, including the devil. Never allow anybody to refer to your past. Never allow anybody to refer to your past to bring you down. I don't allow anybody. Don't allow anybody. Press on. Move on. Move on. Move on. I am from a poor mother. But I'm no longer poor. I have moved on. All right? Struggle forward. Struggle forward. Push forward. Struggle forward. I said push forward. Never ever permit your past to destruct your future. If you live life and you always have to dwell on your past, you can never ever get to the place where you want to get to. For Sina Egan, God bless you. Push your life forward. Drive your life forward. Yeah, I know sometimes life is not perfect. And you can do the best that will never be appreciated. When a million people don't appreciate you, if only one person appreciates you, listen to the voice of the one person that appreciates you. A man is married. He is doing everything for his wife that is never ever appreciating the man. The man is doing struggling, stretching as fast as he can, but the wife is never appreciative of it. But you know what? There are others who are also celebrating the man and they can see the struggle of the man. I say, yo, you better begin to distune your mind from this woman before she kills you. Where you are being celebrated and you are being supported, pay attention to that part. Some of what in God bless you. Don't allow anybody to dwell on your past to drag you back. We all make mistakes. Don't allow anybody to dwell on the mistakes of your past. Please push forward. Please push forward. Go on. Paul, he was called Saul. He was a murderer. He was a murderer. The one who wrote half of the Bible, he was a murderer. I didn't say murder. I said murderer, killer, killer, kill. But you know one thing: when his past left, the man that was called Saul, his identity was changed from Saul to be called Paul. Please, never ever allow your past to destroy your future. You might never know where the Lord will put you. Why are you allowing your past to destroy you? Janet Autry, welcome. You might never ever know where the Lord will put you. Please, don't allow what your ex-husband did, 
what your ex-boyfriend did to destroy your future. A lot of women are, cannot find husbands because you know what? They are foolishly dwelling on their past, their ex-boyfriend. A woman that is smart, she doesn't even keep the telephone number of an ex-boyfriend on the phone because she's smart. She knows that this is an ex. Ex means that the story is close. Move on. Leave your past alone. He said, remember Lord's wife. Charles, I need a welcome. This is, this is it. Everybody has a past. Everybody has a past. Let your past go and move on to be a better person. Let your past go. Don't dwell on the sources of your past. Fight for the future, the benefit and the grace and the blessings of the future. Because the future belongs to you. The blessings of yesterday are gone. Let yesterday be a lesson for you. To make a better future. But don't dwell on yesterday. Don't dwell on your past. Don't dwell on the mistakes of your past. Somebody said, Nikwe, you remember you did a mistake? You did this mistake. The devil is a liar. Why? Why are you dwelling on your past? Why are you allowing anybody to dwell on your past soon? Don't do that. Don't allow anybody to hold you back. Do not allow anybody to hold you back. Please, press on, push on, fight on. Remember, you have only one chance to live. Remember, you and I have only one chance to live and celebrate the people that can celebrate you today. Celebrate with them. Remember Lord's wife. Mm -hmm. She couldn't let go of the past. She turned into a pillar of salt. Remember Lord's wife. She could not let go of the past. She turned into a pillar of salt. God bless you. Please, if you're watching, this is Bishop Adon Timbo, I think. Share the video. God bless you. Let's go. Glory. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. God bless you. By the Pechi, God bless you too. Cecilia 
Madame Pia Boutsiou, God bless you. Mr. Kwaku Abunywa, God bless you, Mr. Kwaku. E. Kara Hansen, welcome. God bless you for watching. This is Bishop Adon Timboating. I am very glad wherever you are that you're watching. Thank you. God bless you. Please, if you're watching, I ask you to do one thing. Please share this video and invite your friends to join us. People are saying that they're looking for the video to watch. They can't find it on Facebook. But you know one thing, if only you, if only you can share, they will find it. Please, for some strange reason, people cannot find the video on Facebook. Agatha Usu, Mama. God bless you. I cannot wait to meet you at the all night uh, this July on the 26th of... Hey, the all night is coming a week after my birthday, though. Wow, okay. That will be fine, right? Um, if you're watching, Fever Dixon, welcome. I want to tell you one thing. And I, this is very personal, but I want to share with you. I am one common, ordinary man that is very, very anointed and very powerful. If you have followed my ministry, you will know. But one thing, I am humble. I try not to judge people. I know a lot. I see a lot, but I don't judge people. You know why I don't judge? And you know why I don't condemn anybody? Fever Dixon, thank you. You know why I don't judge? Why I don't trash anybody? Because I, I was a sinner. If I am who I am now, because I've been saved by the grace of God. Me, Steve, or Sangene, I'm Ankwa. My daughter, these days... Your daddy don't see you, and I miss you. God bless you for joining us tonight. You know why I don't condemn anybody? Nana Dufie, welcome to you. Because uh, I was a sinner. A fear or trade that says, I will celebrate your birthday in Egypt here. <laughs> okay, so at least while I'm celebrating my birthday in America, you'll be celebrating my birthday in Egypt. That is this coming Sunday's week, please. When they're celebrating my birthday, I love chicken and goat, goat meat. If it comes to fish, I like tilapia. So you can eat, if you eat any of them, yo, wherever that you are, we're all celebrating life. Life is good and everybody must enjoy life. So please, don't let anything hold you back. Don't let, don't let anything deny you of loving or enjoying yourself. Enjoy life. Live life and enjoy. God has given us life to enjoy. Enjoy it. Enjoy with people who love you. Francis Boateng. It's Francis Boateng. I'm watching from Italy. Catania. Francis Boateng. God bless you. From watching from Italy. Please. Do that. Don't be angry. Don't be mean. And leave your past and let your past go. The Bible said in Luke 17, verse 31, it said, Remember Lord's wife. I will dakwa, dankwa. I will. God bless you, what? Yeah, I salute you too. Enjoy. Live life. Stop criticizing and stop being angry. Stop be full of hate. Some people are full of hate. They even go on people's Facebook or social media. They don't know them. And then they start insulting them. Because they are full of hate. And you know what normally is 99% is black people, social African people. 
hate, hatred, hatred. And they always dwell on the past, but everybody has a past. Even Jesus has a past. You know what the past of Jesus is? He was the carpenter's son. So life, everybody has a past. Never allow anybody to dwell on your past. And please, stop dwelling on your past too, Linda Boaji. God bless you. Stop dwelling on your past. Your ex-boyfriend is gone. Stop dwelling about her. You are a fool. Wake up. Your ex-girlfriend is gone. You are still dwelling about the ex-girlfriend. Let her go. Don't be a fool. Wake up. If you're living your past, you're dreaming. If you're living your past, you're dreaming. You are not making sense. And time will pass you. Remember Lord's wife because Lord's wife continued to think about the past and look back and look back until became, she became a pillar of salt. Meslin Kufo. Thank you. Nanadufi. Thank you. Stop living in the past. Everybody needs a second chance. What your husband did is not good. Please forgive him and give him a second chance because you also have a past. The fact that your husband has not told you or your wife hasn't told you she knows your past doesn't mean that people don't know your past. Everybody knows somebody's past. But you know what? I am alone. Robert Sakwa Thompson. Robert. Papa, God bless you. And I love you and I love your wife and your family. God bless you all. Stop living in your past. Let the past go. Remember Lord's wife. Why? Because Lord's wife refused to look, refused to look forward. A woman was complaining bitterly that her husband is going to take a young girl and the husband bought a brand new car for the girl. You know why? You know why? You know why the man said he did that? Because my wife is always complaining. And you did it last year. You did this two years ago. And you did this. He has never found peace. Even when they are making love, the woman is angry. But every man, every man who grew up at the, at the breast of his mother, we never forsake the comfort of a mother, a woman. So if you're living with your husband and you're always complaining and you're always angry, you're always fighting, there is no love. You are, women are supposed to be a cushion, a comfort, a, a platter, a, 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 a joy, a fun for men. Then we live together, the man will celebrate with the woman and make you feel proud. But a woman is angry. She's dwelling on the past. And she's always talking. And you did that last year, two years ago, three years ago. Yo, and you're always complaining. When you do that, you're pushing the man away. And you're complaining that your husband went for a young girl. You know how the man, the same man went to the young girl. And the young girl said, hello, boo. Hello, yo. My God. The man, his head becomes like a balloon. Waterproof. Big. He will go. He will buy a brand new car for the girl because he makes him happy. Stop dwelling on the past. Tell mommy I miss her and I said I love her. Ciao. I will see her there all night. Rita Manasseh, my daughter, God bless you. Stop living in the past. Forgive and forget and let it go. You are complaining your husband left you for a young girl because you are always angry. You are always dwelling on the past. There are women, there are men and women who live with their husband because of evil and wickedness. They are building houses their husband don't know. They are building houses their wives don't know. Evil. What are you going to do? When you treat people like this, the day you die... The day you die, the woman will come and sit there and she will take the collection, the offering from the people who come and pay money and chop. Stop living like love and life like that. Life is very short. And as much as we all given the chance to live, everybody can die anytime. This morning, a very nice, handsome 41-year-old man, very strong, very energetic white man, he says, told his wife, yo, honey, I got to go to work. I'll call you when I get to work. The wife wasn't hearing from him. On the way to his work, the man died. 41 year old, my other heart attack is dead. Yo. Now the woman is saying, I wish I had, I wish I had kissed him more. 
I wish I'd hugged him more. What you have today, celebrate it and stop living in the past. Yo, man. What you have today, celebrate it. Enjoy it. Make it good. And stop always complaining. Some people are always complaining. Especially some women. Nikwe, you understand what I mean? The worst thing a man can live your life with is a woman who is angry and bitter. You can never enjoy. There, there, there is no... There is, Grace, how do I call this word? Um, when a man and a woman, they are complain, comforting each other. Cuddle. There is no cuddling. When your wife is angry and your wife is bitter... And she's always thinking about, about the past. You don't even know what is in her mind. There is no cuddling. The man will go out and cheat. And you are complaining my husband is cheating. You are cheating. Because you are not faithful. Wake up. Everybody must wake up. Everybody has a past. The Bible said in man, Luke 17 verse 31. Remember Lord's wife. Remember Lord's wife. Who is Lord's wife? She refused to let the past go. Let the past go. Let the past go. Let the past go. Everybody has made a mistake. Let it go. And it's only you who has an ex-boyfriend who wears a golden shoe. The, one, the reason why he's an ex because he took another woman. He left you. Let him go. You are not the only one who ex-girlfriend has a big butt. Yo, Nikwe's current chick has a big same thing. My friend, let it go. Let the past go. Let the past go. If you continue to hold on to the past, you can never celebrate the future. Every day when we wake up, we must pray the Lord. Do something new in our life. We must pray every day, Lord. I want to let go of my past. I make certain mistakes of my past. Help me to let it go. I make certain mistakes of my past. Help me to let it go. But you cannot live as a woman and live in a marriage or live in a very successful relationship and you are talking to your ex-boyfriend, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are a shame to the institution of marriage. You are still talking to your ex-girlfriend and you are still talking about all the things you did with your ex-girlfriend. Meanwhile, your wife is laying there and also thinking about the day Jesus will come. Ah! My friend, let the past Go! I'll be so glad if you can share this video. Somebody's crying. Somebody's talking about the past 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when her mother didn't give her food. She doesn't talk to the mother because their mother did this, my father did this. Please, let it go. Share this video and tell them, yo, we are celebrating tomorrow. You know one thing we are celebrating today? Let the past go. Agatha Usu, I'm coming with your granddaughter from Haiti. Little I don't think. They wanted to, they want to, they, uh, they wanted to name in the baby that day if possible. Yes. Bring the baby, uh, jo Joania. Nico, remember the little girl I prophesied concerning her? Yes, please. Bring her to the all night. I'll be so happy to name the baby and to anoint this little adulting baby girl. God bless you. I'll be so glad to see them. This is you. This is you. Please enjoy. Tell mommy I said I love her. God bless you and bless you. Please let go of the past. Just let go. If you let go of the past, mama, you play better. If you let go of the past, papa, you play better. You do better. You speak better. You excel. You, 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 you aspire to be a champion. But when you continue to dwell in the past, it always distracts you. It always takes you back because that's where you're living. If you're living in the past, you'll be living in the past too. But if you aspire to go forward and you push forward, yo, oh. A woman just wrote something, said, Bishop, some of the men also cannot let go of the past. 
When a man cannot let go of the past, you need to put him on the bed and smack his uh, smack his channel to me. The worst thing a woman can live with is a man that is always talking about the past. If you're a woman, that is why I, I have I've been advising people never ever marry somebody that you don't know very well. That is the worst thing anybody can do is to marry somebody you don't really know. Hey, you cry like a baby. You while you're sitting there, you'll be seeing their characters popping up like uh, stars. Because you don't know them. The worst thing anybody can do is to marry somebody you don't know. Hey, when they are smiling, you don't know whether they are inviting somebody to come and sleep with them or not. When they are saying hello, boo, you don't know whether they are talking to you or they are talking to the next boy that is coming. Hey, you should never, ever, ever marry somebody you don't know. So many destinies are destroyed because people marry people they don't know. And once you marry people you don't know, and their life surprises start popping up pa, 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 like stars. Yo, you should be ready. You are going down. You should be ready. You are going where? Down. Never, ever, ever marry somebody you don't know. Never do that. And the worst thing a woman can face in your marriage is to live with a man who cannot forget the past. June 16, 2018. Around 1230. You remember you said this, you said that, you said that. April 2017. If I am a woman, I'm living with a man who behaves and I tell the man that you are a wrong man. Why? He asked you why. Tell him, this knowledge, you carry this and you couldn't go to court to be a lawyer. And you are now a lawyer in your bedroom. My friend, tip on caution. You are a loser. If you live life and you are old and you are matured and you are not bitter, things happen. Everybody, you, you know, when people continue to repeat things, they cannot be forgiven as mistakes. But if my daughter is here, Grace. She will do something. Why would Grace do this? Ah, I'm very shocked. But this is not who she is. I must give the girl a chance to make a better future. But I cannot judge her. Because it's a, everybody makes a mistake in life. You understand? But people who intentionally, out of their wicked character, every day the man is cheating with a different woman. Even your friends, even your friends come to the house, he wants to love them. Or the, your, you are married to a woman who wants to date every man, even including your friends. You're, oh, that is a witch. That is a witch. That one, you are carrying a burden that is too big. It will break your neck. But otherwise, all of us must give ourselves an opportunity to let go of the past. Let go of the past. Whatever that is there, let it go. Everybody has a past. Let it go. Strive forward. Push on. Let the past go. Pray for a better future. Pray for a better tomorrow. Pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. Give me a better tomorrow. Oh. Abuajiwe, Japan. God bless you. Ruth Edupoku. God bless you too. Please, if you can share this video, I will be so glad. God bless you. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Do something new. My life, yesterday is gone, another day has come, do something new in my life. Yesterday is gone, yes, another day has come, do something new in my life. Day is gone, another day has come. Do something new 
in my life. Do something new in my life. Something new. That is all that I pray for you tonight. That let the Lord do something new in your life. Let all your past go. Let all the past go. Lord, do something new in my life. is how you become successful as a wife. This is how you become a successful as a husband. When you say, Lord, my past were wrong. My past were bad. Lord, help me make a better future. Help me make a better tomorrow. Help me let go of my past. Do something new in my life. I want to enjoy where I am now. I want to enjoy what you have given me now. Help me to make today better than yesterday. Is gone. Another day has come. Do something new. You know why you're listening. If you are married, your perspective towards your husband must change. If you're a woman, let go of all the things he did yesterday. Let go of all the things that. Your ex-boyfriend did that. Your current boyfriend is not doing. Let it all go. But make what you have better. Let go of that ex-girlfriend. The new one who loves you. Who is trying his, uh, his best for you. Grace. Love him. And make him a better person. Once again, God bless you. And tell mommy I said I love her. Deep. Isaac Kobe, God bless you too. While you listen, one thing I just want to tell you, it's not everybody that will love you. And it's not everybody that you will genuinely love who will love you back. But if anybody out of it all will love you, please concentrate on where you are loved. Enjoy where you are loved. You have only a short time to live. But every day that you are given, the day doesn't belong to you. Enjoy the fullest. Enjoy to the best. Smile. Laugh. Eat. Live good. It is for you. God bless you. Show 
the moon Where to hide till evening Whose words alone can catch a falling star Well I know my redeemer lives I know my redeemer lives All of creation testifies This life with me same God that spins things in orbit runs to the weary the worn and the weak and the same gentle hands that hold me when I'm God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, right? Juliana Selenian, God bless you. Daniel, oh, so my daughter, God bless you. What's it? in your pain in your wrongs in your negative past some of the past were even good you know one thing you lose some things you lose in life you can never let go remember how your daddy used to love you so much remember how your mother used to love you but she died she's gone your daddy is gone let it go let it go you know one thing one thing I just want to assure you in the midst of your losses, always know in the quiet of time that there is a Redeemer that lives. Jesus is seated on the right hand side of the Father. Even though you might be feeling lonely, you might be hurting, what your ex-boyfriend did was very bad. What your ex-girlfriend did was very bad. What your husband might have done is so bad. What your own family did was so bad. Yo, but you know one thing. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, who don't have a past? Everybody wish you can always live with a silver spoon in your mouth. Yo, yo, who don't want? Yeah, but sometimes good things come. You do your best, they go. Let it go. Molina Zaha, who is disturbing you like that? Millicent, I'm wanting. Fancy up here. Mommy Millicent. 
I love you, okay? God bless you. Let it go. Yeah, your husband did what is so bad. Your wife did. If, if she did not do that intentionally. You know life? I have grown in life and realized that life is full of traps and snares. Life is full of traps. There are certain things people do. And within the instance of doing them, within minutes, they, they say, why did, why did I even do this at all? But you know what? They're falling. Don't dwell on your past and stop living in the past of people. Oh, Bishop daughter, I know her. She used to be a girlfriend to this guy. Yo, she used to, she used to mean she's a past. It's an ex. Let it go. I was poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But today I'm not poor. Like, yeah, I let go of my past. I know you are poor, but by the grace of God, you are no, no longer living in poverty. It is your past. Let it go. Any man or woman that will continue to dwell in your past, they are evil. Any man or woman who wants to dwell only in your past, and you, I know your father, I know your mother, your mother did this. Um, I mean, so papa, you say, for being free, so it's enough. Everybody has a past. Let's live in the future. Let's live for today and for tomorrow. You know one thing? What belongs to me now is today. I'm alive here now. Now. That is why every opportunity I get, those I love. I never hold back from telling them I love you. Why? Because I don't know what the next hour might come. I don't know. Please. Somebody says, it's so hard to let go when your mother is no more. Yeah, that is very true. But you know why when people die, they say, may you rest in peace. We're not going to disturb you anymore. Let her go. Thank God for bringing your mother to this earth to give birth to you. The baton has been given to you. Run with it. If you want to run life successfully and succeed, you shouldn't be living in the past. Your mom is gone. Do what will make your mother proud in her grave. Do what when you are standing, when you are called to the pulpit, when you are called to the platform, ladies and gentlemen. When we say ladies and gentlemen, can we receive the presence of Lydia Frimpong? You know one thing, your dead mother will celebrate and so oh my God. This is how you, you, you celebrate your mother that is dead. She is gone. I know a girl that up to date, she's never married. You know why? Her mother died and she's always talking about how my mother loved me. How my, I was my mother's last born. Men come to her and she said, my, I was my mother's last born. As for me, I was pampered. So if you come and you don't want to pamper me, yo, 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 yo. And she continued to grow wrinkled, old, old, old. Now she's 62 years old. No man married her. She's still living in the past. Let go of the past. Yeah, when you love somebody and they die, it hurts. But you know what? After a year or two, grow up and drive on with your life. Let it go. Diana Asari. Welcome. God bless you. Cecilia, I'm happy about you. Ofori wa amadan kwa. Mami Dankwa, I love you. What's it? God bless you. Let go. Don't live in your past. No, you're wasting your time. The devil always wish that we can live in our past. Too. I said the devil always wish we can live in our past. And you remember how Nikwe used to go to that site and chase. Now Nikwe doesn't go to the site. All of you went to the site to look for Nikwe. Well, he was, he's not there. Because that was his past. He stopped going. What is the site again, Grace? Blackpeoplemeet.com Blackpeoplemeet.com Nikwe used to go there, but ever since I told him to stop there, he stopped. Please, stop going there looking for Nikwe. Nikwe is no longer there. It's past. <laughs> Molinesa, tell them I love them, okay? Yeah. 
<laughs> I love them. Tell them I love them deep. <laughs> God bless you. If you are my God bless you. Nikwe, you used to go to that pass. You almost met uh, Marisa Strigel there, but after I told you, stop going there. It's past. Once something happened yesterday, and it's past, it's past. The reason why so many people are not able to be blessed in their life, they are praying. They never see the blessing of God in their life. It's because they live in their past. And you know how my ex-husband, my, your father, your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend, hey, your ex-boyfriend left you for a girl that is taller, bigger, and well-shaped than you. He is gone. God has blessed you and a nice man wearing a blue shirt like Nikwe is your life. And you are still dwelling on your ex-boyfriend. You are calling him. He has blocked you. You are, still calling. You are a fool. You are a foolish woman. You will never be successful. Press on. Whatever you have now, make it work. Make it work. Make it. Bring the best out of Nikwe. Nikwe is a very thick, tall man. Maybe not as romantic as somebody else, a Latino. But he is also a black, very thick black man. Black one. Very black. Yo, sister. Work something out of this man. Make something out of him. And enjoy what you have. Stop living in your past. Stop living your past. And when I used to go to uh, Legon, and when I used to go to Premper College, and when I used to go to St. Mary's, Achimota, yo, yo, yo. Those schools are dilapidated. Look for a better tomorrow. Look for a better today. Make the best. Let today count. Let today count and let go of the past. Let it go. You are being too shameful. Dwelling on the past. Remember Lord's wife. The only reason why Lord's wife did not get to the place where she wants to go was because she was dwelling on the past. Let the past go. Let the past go. Enjoy. Hey, today, every day you've been eating salad. Today there's no salad. You are fufu. My friend, chop it. That's what you get. Sometimes life brings you some of the things you don't want. Sometimes life brings you to the places you don't want to sleep. Sometimes, love, life puts you among people you don't want to be around you. But you must grow to be content with yourself. Please, enjoy every opportunity of your life. Enjoy it. Stop being so mean. Millicent, I'm watching. God bless you. Raining and not joyless. You're always late. Okay, okay. Marissa Striggers, God bless you. Listen, enjoy what you have. If you live life and you are bitter, and you're always referring to what somebody did to you here, somebody did there. Yo, you're going to be like Lord's wife. You know what happened to Lord's wife? She became a pillar of salt. I wish she had become a pillar of gold. Now, she, people would have chopped their finish. Because everybody wants gold. But she came, became a pillar of salt. You know why she became a pillar of salt? Near the Dead Sea. Near the Dead Sea. She's finished. Don't live your life in your past. Do not live your life in the past. If you, if you are a man and you are bitter and you are always complaining about somebody's past, somebody's past, you are a wasted fellow. If any woman goes to such a man, you the woman, you are going to commit romantic suicide. Nuko, you know what is romantic suicide? I will give you the Oxford Dictionary meaning of romantic suicide. And if you are a man, and you spend your life with any woman that is bitter. That is always living in the past. Papa, mama, no matter how loving you can be, no matter how sweet you can be, no matter how helpful, no matter how fatherly, no matter how gracious you can be as a man, a woman that is living in the past, she's like a timber. When you push it, same. When you crush it, same. Same, 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 same. You know what? You are wasting your energy. Everybody has only a short, a very, very short time to live on this earth. And none of this time should be wasted for nothing. You know one thing I want to encourage you to do today? Enjoy you. Celebrate you. Yesterday I wrote on Facebook that hey, the first person you can ever love in this world is you, yourself. The first person you, you, if, if you don't love yourself, you cannot love anybody. So any man or woman that is bitter, that is angry, that is always dwelling on their past, she has no love.
to give you love because what I have is what I give you. If I don't have love, I cannot give you love. Yes, Love yourself so you can love others and stop living in the past and stop being angry, stop being so mean, stop being so selfish. It's all about you. And my mother did this, and my father did this, and my ex husband. People come to your life and they think you are a witch, you are a devil. Because you cannot let go of your past. Please celebrate you. You don't know when you die. Today, I said today, a 41 year old white man, very handsome, energetic. Family man of two, two young girls. He told his wife he was leaving to work. His wife was waiting to hear from him. Just within two hours, the wife got a call that when your husband was driving on the way, the car just stopped. When people went there to check, the man had a heart attack. He's dead. He's gone. The woman is crying. She said, I wish I had held him more. I wish I had hugged him more. I wish I had kissed him more. I wish I had made more love. To him. He's gone. It's too late. It's too late. What you have today, enjoy it. Araba Emisa. God bless you, my daughter. Favor Dixon, once again. God bless you, Benedetta Oko. Enjoy. Everybody has a past. Let it go. Some of our past, we wish people would never talk about because some of our past is so bad. Nico, remember your past when you used to. Nico, I shouldn't say it. It's past. It's past. It's gone. Some of us wish we can go back to our past and correct certain things. But Nico, the past is past. It's gone. Some of us wish we can get a chance to go back to our past to make certain things better. The woman whose husband is dead. She wish she could go back and maybe last night make a better love to the husband. But the man is dead. He's gone. He's gone. I said, I repeat this. A woman came complaining bitterly that her husband went for a young girl and she, the husband bought her, the girl a brand new car. The man said, that woman is so bitter. I have never been happy like now. I said, why are you saying that? He said, a young girl, she calls me and says, hi, boo, hi, bae, hi, bae, how you doing, honey? But if I call my wife, yo, what's your boy? <laughs> Jesus. God bless you for watching. This is Bishop Adon but I'm here with Elijah Bonnie New Queen and Grace Sapon. God bless you. Please share the video. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Do something new in my life. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come to something new in my life. Yes, the day is gone. Yes, another day has come to something new in my life. Yes, the day is gone. Another day has come to something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Do something new in my life. Something new. God bless you please if you are happy and you are worried there's anything that bothers you and you want to talk someone something is hurting you maybe your ex-husband maybe your ex-wife or something about your past is still hurting you i want to talk to you maybe we can learn something from you something 
that is baffling you. Uh, kindly give me a call 508-762-7641 or you can also um, call me with WhatsApp 001-508-762-7641 please. Wherever you are, you can give me a call 508-762-7641 kindly please give me a call 508-762-7641 or you can call me with WhatsApp 001 008-762-7641 Lord, do something new in my life. Something new. It's gone. Another day has come. Do something. Do something. Bridget Bramafi, and I'm celebrating you, Bridget. Why? Because you have decided that you're going to move from your past. The day you are able to move from your past, the future is ready for you. Don't live in the past. That boyfriend is gone. Why is he still talking about him? Why is he still testing you? You are a fool. Because she's not thinking about you and you are still thinking about him. Nikwe loves you and you are making Nikwe go away. Yo. Meanwhile, Grace friend, I was Grace friends are also waiting for Nikwe. <laughs> All Grace friends are waiting for Nikwe. And Nikwe is spending his time also trying to make love come out of you. And you are also living your past. And tomorrow, you same person will go around saying that Nikwe, Grace friends came and they took my husband. Because you were living in your past. You are a fool. Don't live in your past. Let the past go. Enjoy today. Look at today. Look at Enjoy the day. Please. Celebrate. Celebrate. Yo, 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 yo. Celebrate the day. Am I right? And stop living in the past. It won't help you. Everybody got a past. Let it go. Let the past go. Can life, I, I tell you, as long as you live, life can never be perfect to do. The day we die, we rest in peace. Life is perfect. But as long as you live, life can never be perfect. Nora, 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 God bless you. Please. Let go of the past, okay? Listen to this song and enjoy. God bless you for joining us. Share the video. God bless you. Who taught the sun where to stand? And who told the ocean you can only come this far? And who showed the moon? Anyway, I love you, though. I must tell you one truth. And I really appreciate your time for watching Paulina Sam. There is a boy in it. Elijah Bonnie Nikwe, you are one and one of a very special person. Grace Sapon, my beloved daughter. God bless you, what? Man, Lizzie, God bless you. Uh, Elder Jamana, God bless you. First lady, Ramadan, Temple, God bless you. Uh, Nikwe, uh, Grace, what is the name of my daughter there? Anjikwe. Anjikwe. Yes. And who? And Nase. Nase. God bless you too for being here. Please, this is Adon Temple, I love you and I love you very, very, very much. I love you for joining us. Tomorrow by this time, I'll be back 4.30 p.m. And I pray that you will come and enjoy all the goodness of life. I love you. I love you.
God bless you. This is Bishop Adontin Boatin. I love you. I love you right from the bottom of my heart. Wherever you are, know that somebody loves you. And I love you very special. Enjoy this song. I'll be back tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. America time. Mami sewa. Vasio usu. Arabai misa. Uwakwe. Ubinuju. God bless you. And God bless you. And God bless you. I'll be here tomorrow. 4.30 p.m. Prompt. I salute you. God bless you. And I love you. I love you. I love to mommy. God bless you. Ben is watching. God bless you. God bless you and bless you and bless you. And bless you. Bridget. Very mafia. No. Bridget. Bridget. God bless you. And bless you. And bless you. In Jesus name. Hear this. Okay. Good night. Love you. Come on.